Hello, what's up guys again? It's me, Lock27, and today I bring you some news about Tekken 7. And like I said previously, this is my favorite fighting game of all time. So, you know, I'm really excited whenever I see some news. So without further ado, let's begin with the article. The article reads, Tekken 7 DLC will feature two new guest characters from other video game series. Additional details about Tekken 7 Season Pass have been revealed. So to begin with, that's very interesting to know that we're going to have two new guest characters uh, down the road. So I'm guessing, I'm wondering who they might be. But anyways, uh, I'm going to make sure to leave the link of the article in the description down below. So you can go over there and check it out by yourself. Uh, hopefully I won't forget. So if I do, sorry, I might do it later. But anyways, um, let's continue with the um, next piece of information that we have for this uh, article. Additional details related to Tekken 7 Season Pass have been revealed by Bandai Namco Europe. According to their newly published press release, Tekken 7 to feature two new exclusive guest characters from other video games licenses. This should mean that the characters will not be from Bandai Namco games. The press release went on to say the following. So we, before we continue, uh, let me say that I almost grew up with the name because they've been changing their name. A lot of times, you know, from Namco Bandai to Bandai Namco, so whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, I'll, I'll do my best to, you know, try to read this in the serious possible way. But anyways, let's continue with the next um, piece of information that we have in this article. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to leave the link in the description down below so if I don't forget. So if I do, I'm sorry. Anyways, let's continue to the next part. Now, ah, holy sh**. Okay, this is a long one. Okay. The first batch to be released this summer 2017 will provide a brand new game mode and more than 15 new customs. The second and third batches of content to be released respectively in this winter 2017 and next spring 2018 will both feature one exclusive playable guest character from other video game licenses with each time a special stage and a special custom for these guest characters. These three poses these three post lunch lunches pieces of content will be purchasable individually, but we'll also be able to through there. Okay, okay, whatever. Anyways, so that means uh, we're gonna have three like DLC packages, I guess. Uh, one is gonna be well, the first one is gonna be on this summer of 2017. Uh, it's gonna have like a new game mode, which is the part that I'm more interested in. Customs, yeah, I guess whatever. Uh, and then the next one will be in the winter of uh, this year and the next one is gonna be ex it's spring okay so that's like a year from now but I mean I guess it's something and so I'm guessing who these characters might be anyways uh, I'm gonna read the last few parts and then I'm gonna give my thoughts or predictions about what characters it might be uh this is just keep in mind that i'm just gonna be guessing or speculating so anyways let's continue with the next piece of information on this article so next oh okay so it's pretty much the same shit. okay i thought it was gonna be something different but anyways it just says here's everything broken down for you uh whatever 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 i just read the same shit, so i don't care anymore um so yeah i mean um I'm interested on this uh, two guest characters who they might be. If I had to speculate, I'm gonna say one, Ayori or whatever his name is from King of Fighters. Uh, that could be one. Then the next one, Chun Li from Street Fighter Five or from Street Fighter series, uh, and then maybe Mai from uh, King of Fighters. Why the last two? Well, because you know, sex appealing. You know I mean. Uh, Tekken had to have some boob and, and you know booty too, you know to sell well not to sell But you know just to appeal some people because you know whenever you got a cute girl on the you know the cover of the game uh, I mean people are gonna get interested, you know and just they might have to play it out or try it just because the boobies and the titties But anyways um, If I have to guess one more character that could be you know just because it's really really popular The other one could be you know um, Ryu from a Street Fighter because why not? And yeah, I mean, if if I have to be very picking, I will stick with either Ryu or Ayori because you know both of them are just really really fun to play. And I mean, I guess I wouldn't mind also, you know, um, I guess Chun Li because she will look really really nice 
and the Tekken engine, so I would love to see that one. Uh, but I mean, I don't know. I guess I could take, you know, one, one or the other. I could guess, you know, I can get maybe Iori and then um, Chun Li for the one time because you know I just think you know Iori is a lot of fun to play with, at least in the King of Fighters. And Chun Li is just you know she's just the babe, so she just look nice. So uh, I would love them to see you know those two characters. Uh, that's just my opinion or speculation. But let me know yours in the comments down below. Which two characters do you think might be um, in this future DLC for Tekken 7? Are you excited from um, you know Tekken to have more guest characters? Are you okay with it? Are you mad? Because I know some people get mad about it. Uh, I don't know why. I mean, I guess I understand. You know, you don't want other characters from different franchises in your franchise. But let me tell you something. You don't own this. Shit. So I mean, it's whatever. The more characters, the better. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? Do you like the idea? Which two characters do you want to be uh, the DLC ones or the uh, guest characters? In the comments down below, let me know. Anyways, that's all the news that I got for you uh, in this video. So comment, like, share the video with a friend who might be interested in this. And subscribe if you're new. Also, um, I have a new channel of anime. So if you're interested in all that kind of stuff, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below so you can go check it out. And yeah, that's it for the video. That's it for the video. Shit. Can't talk. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.